The advantage of being able to do that online was greatly beneficial considering I'm from Edmonton, Alberta. Um, but I really love how engaging it is. I love the guest speakers that comes in. It makes you feel like you actually are right in class, which is beneficial. Welcome to College of the Rockies 45th Annual Convocation Ceremony. I'm Robin Hicks, Vice President of Academic and Applied Research, and it's my pleasure to be your ceremony host. Before we begin, I would like to acknowledge that I'm speaking to you from the traditional lands of the Tanaha people. College of the Rockies is proud and honoured to serve the Tanaha, Métis and Shuswap people of our region. In the opening montage, you heard the voices of the Adrumnik singers. I'd like to thank them for their lovely introduction to our ceremony. Catherine Tamise, Chair of the Tanaha Nation Council, will now say a few words to begin our ceremony. Gisuk yukit, kapiniskit, husukishkukni, nasan mietki. Good day to each and every one of you. As the Chair of the Tanaha Nation Council, I'm honored to be able to be here today to say a few words on this special day for so many of you. Like you, I wish we were gathered together in the gym to celebrate your years of hard work and studying, but right now, this is the reality we live in. This pandemic has changed the way we do so many things. It has changed the way we communicate, the way we work, and as I'm sure you are aware, it has changed the way that we learn. I believe that the students and faculty of the College of the Rockies deserve to be commended for the way you responded to the challenges that COVID-19 has brought forward. I was, however, not surprised. College of the Rockies has always been an institute that prioritized and nurtured a positive learning experience for students. It was no different when I was an employee back when we were called the East Kootenai Community College. There are so many lessons that we can take from our current situation, but perhaps the most important is that we are all in this together. As we move forward together, the one key mechanism that drives us toward a brighter future is education, and a brighter future that is a future for all Canadians. You have made the important decision to empower yourself through acquiring knowledge. Senator Murray Sinclair, who headed the Truth and Reconciliation Commission said, quote, a period of change is beginning that if sustained by the will of the people will forever realign the shared history of indigenous and non-indigenous peoples in Canada. Change, of course, will not be immediate it will take years, perhaps generations, end quote. You have taken that first step on the path to reconciliation. Education opens our minds and preconceptions about our worldviews are challenged. We begin to look at things as they really are and not the way they think they should be. That is how change happens. But change is not instant. As the leaders of tomorrow, you must never lose sight of, a fair, of what a fair and just society requires. 
Your education at the College of the Rockies has put you in the path of understanding. It will be a long journey, but we will get there together, but we can each do our part. So once again, I honor you and your hard work and success and remind you to show gratitude to those who have supported you on your educational journey. Dacha. Thank you for your lovely words, Catherine. It is now my pleasure to present a message from the Honorable Anne King, Minister of Advanced Education, Skills and Training. Hello everyone, I'm Anne Kang, and it's my privilege to be serving British Columbians as a new Minister of Advanced Education and Skills Training. I'm sending you greetings from the unceded territory of the Musqueam, Squamish and Tsleil-Waututh Nations. You've done it, and I'm so proud to be one of the first people to congratulate you on your graduation from the College of the Rockies. It is an incredible milestone in an equally incredible and challenging year. As a former elementary teacher, lifelong learner, and a woman of color, empowering people through education is a value close to my heart. The East Kootenays has long had a history of distinguished community leaders and using the skills you've learned at the College of the Rockies, you'll be among them, shaping British Columbia and Canada in transformative ways. Your graduation means that you can take your personal life experiences, your education, your friendships, and your perseverance to make real lasting change for your own family and your community. I want to touch briefly on this past year and how incredibly touched I am at how despite a significantly challenging year, you have all dug deep and as Premier John Horgan says, to do our level best to make it through. COVID has been devastating in so many ways, but there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Thank you for setting an example and supporting those in our communities who may be deeply affected by this pandemic. I realize that not being able to be part of a large celebration in person because of COVID-19 is not what you envisioned when it came to your graduation. I know that people who have supported you, your family, your friends, your professors and instructors, they are incredibly proud. This is your moment. We are all cheering you on as you take this next step to support our province as skilled trades workers, nurses, early childhood educators, and healthcare assistants. Thank you for your dedication and resilience in these challenging times. Know that we're behind you every step of the way and wishing you every success. Congratulations once again and good luck to each one of you. Thank you, Minister Kang. It's now my pleasure to introduce Sarah Claire Coates, our student representative, who will address her fellow classmates. Hi, everyone. I'd like to start by saying congratulations to the grad class of 2021. We have put in a lot of hard work to get here today. And I want to encourage everyone to take some time to recognize everything that you've accomplished during your time at College of the Rockies. And I know for many of us, it's been a bit of a strange and sometimes hard year as we've had to adapt to new learning processes um, and try and um, adapt to suit to pandemic life. But I think this should give us all the more reason to celebrate and be proud of everything that we've accomplished this year. And even though we can't uh, be walking across the stage like normal, um, I encourage you to celebrate at home and feel just as proud as if you had. Because no matter what, today marks a major transitional moment in our lives and it marks a major milestone and it represents everything that we've worked so hard to achieve. So just wherever you are today, take a moment to be proud of everything that you've accomplished. And I'd just like to take a minute to say thank you to all the family members, all the friends, caretakers, and everyone who have loved us, supported us, and encouraged us throughout our education. Your love and support is what gets us through the good times and the bad times. So thank you for always being there no matter what. 
And I'd also like to say thank you to all of the faculty at the college. Everything you do helps us pursue and achieve our education and our goals. So thank you for all of the hard work and dedication that you um, put into our education. And um, I know I'm so thankful for everyone that I've been able to meet, interact with, um, and learn from during my time at the college. And I'd just like to finish by encouraging all the grads this year to move forward knowing that there are great things ahead. Um, and everything that you've invested into your education is so important um, and it should be something that you are immensely proud of. So congratulations everyone. I wish you all the very best and I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you, Sarah. That was a beautiful message. At this time, it gives me a great deal of pleasure to ask the eighth president of College of the Rockies to address the graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, President Paul Bolt. Hello everybody, I'm Paul Vogt, President and CEO of College of the Rockies. On behalf of the college, it's my honour to be here virtually today on our 45th convocation to celebrate our class of 2021 graduates. I joined the college last summer as President, so this is my first opportunity to congratulate uh, the whole class of graduates from the college and to congratulate you in particular on reaching uh, each of you this very momentous milestone. Although a traditional ceremony is not possible this year because of the COVID rules, I hope this day will be as joyous and memorable as it has for all of our past graduates and for your families and friends, all of those who have supported you and had your back through this journey. We're celebrating over 800 graduates today, 200 of which will be participating online with us. You'll see lots of familiar faces and you'll have the, the opportunity to learn a little bit about each of our graduates as they, cross, as they, as they participate in a virtual ceremony. We might not be able to shake your hand and congratulate you as you cross the stage, as we have done in the past, but in all other ways, we want to recognize your achievement and what it's meant for you. This is a very special group of graduates. The world changed on you at a critical moment in your lives. For the past year and a half, you've had to pursue your studies and your career goals under conditions that are really unprecedented. It's an experience that will always mark you. And hopefully all of us will look back on this uh, as a unique time uh, and something that we really remember uh, as testing us um, and that we came through uh, with flying colors. What it's meant for you personally is that aside from what you've learned in your, in your courses, uh, you've also learned uh, adaptability and perseverance. And you've had to demonstrate that every day throughout your studies at College of the Rockies. So it reminds me a little of what Ginger Rogers said when asked whether it was easier for her to dance with Fred Astaire because he was taking the lead. She said, oh sure, all I have to do is every, every step that he made except backwards and in high heels. Beginning 15 months ago, we've asked our students to cover everything our programs have always covered at College of the Rockies to prepare you for your careers. But in many cases, uh, you've, been work, you've been doing that online, working in isolation from your peers and your instructors and with many safety precautions that added new wrinkles to your assignments and tests. But you did adapt, and you did persevere. And here you are today, a new College of the Rockies graduate. And after today's ceremony, you'll be an alumnus of College of the Rockies. We pride ourselves on preparing our graduates for the real world of work. But with this group of graduates, the class of 2021, I would say that there's something more. You're well prepared for a world that has just changed before our eyes and for many changes that are going to come as a result of what we've just gone through. And in that world, the added traits that you've acquired, your demonstrated ability now to deal with change and with sudden shifts, will be a personal resource that you'll be drawing on again and again. You got through this. You graduated during a global pandemic. You dug in and you kept your focus. You should feel confident now that you can handle anything that the workplace or your lives will throw at you. Now, I recall, and it's a little bit hazy, uh, when I graduated many years ago, and I know there were lots of speakers and, uh, and wise words, uh, but what I can really remember most clearly is the emotions, uh, one part pride, two parts relief, uh, and also those who were there to celebrate with me afterwards. 
Uh, so for today, I hope that uh, you savor this sense of accomplishment and take in all of the congratulations and the, and the well wishes that you'll be receiving. You've earned all of them. And looking ahead, uh, I hope that all that you've achieved at College of the Rockies uh, and all that we've taught you will contribute to the goals uh, that you've set yourself for now and that you'll be setting yourself in the future. And rather than a long quotation uh, from someone long ago, I'll leave you with a simple phrase uh, that I particularly like. It's from that sage of our time, Conan O'Brien, uh, who ended a commencement speech a few years ago uh, simply by saying, work hard, be kind, and amazing things will happen. So congratulations once again, new graduates of College of the Rockies. I hope you enjoy this day, and I wish you every success in the years ahead. It is my pleasure to present the Lieutenant Governor's Medal, the Governor General's Collegiate Bronze Medal, and the President's Award for Excellence to three very deserving students. The first medal presented is the Lieutenant Governor's Medal. Students receiving this award are recognized for making outstanding contributions to the promotion of diversity and inclusion, democracy and reconciliation within their campus community. Along with this medal, the recipient is awarded $1,000. It is my pleasure to present the Lieutenant Governor's Medal to Sarah Clara Coates. Sarah Clara Coates grew up in Cranbrook, BC. She's interested in learning about business and began attending the College of the Rockies shortly after graduating high school. After completing her first year in General Management Certificate Program, Sarah said she wanted to continue her studies at the College of the Rockies and chose to pursue the college's Bachelor of Business Administration degree. She's happy to made, have made this choice and is grateful for the opportunity to pursue higher education in her hometown. Sarah admires the way the College of the Rockies prioritizes sustainability, sustainability and diversity, not just in theory, but in practice. She hopes to apply and share what she's learned about the importance of sustainability, relationships, and communication as she pursues a career in accounting. Sarah plans to pursue a designation as a chartered professional accountant. Congratulations, Sarah. Well done. I'm now pleased to announce the recipient of the Governor General's Medal, Collegiate Bronze. This medal is awarded to the student who has achieved the highest academic standing upon graduation from a two-year diploma or associate degree program. The Governor General's Medal Collegiate Bronze recipient also receives, receives a $1,000 award. This medal is considered to be the greatest honor that can be bestowed upon a graduate of a two-year diploma or associate degree program. I am very pleased to announce the recipient of the Governor General's Medal Collegiate Bronze, Malik Domi. Malik is graduating from the two-year Criminal and Social Justice Diploma Program through hard work perseverance, and a bit of good luck. Malik has completed this diploma with a 9.9 .9 grade point average. After graduating from Mount Baker Secondary, Malik chose the College of the Rockies because it offered an affordable and comfortable avenue to transition to post-secondary education. Additionally, he was fortunate to receive the College of the Rockies Scholastic Distinction Ent Entrance Scholarship which granted him two free years of tuition, fully paid. Growing up with a single mother, Malik had the aptitude to achieve academic excellence, but lacked financial support. Thankfully, through the generosity of the college and other scholarship donors, Malik has been able to pursue his dreams of post-secondary education. While proud of his results so far, Malik recognizes that, that the journey is far from over. He plans to enroll at the University of British Columbia this upcoming fall to complete a Bachelor of Arts degree with a major in psychology, and then on to law school to become a practicing lawyer. The road ahead may be long and difficult, but Malik welcomes the challenges that lie ahead with open arms. 
Malik would like to thank his professors who assisted him with his, his studies, as well as the College of the Rockies, for believing him, in him, enough to offer financial support needed to pursue his dreams. Additionally, Malik would like to thank his friends and family for supporting and challenging him along the way. Lastly, and most of all, Malik would like to thank his mother, Courtney, for the immense sacrifices she has made in the hopes of providing him with the opportunity to achieve his dreams. Malik, congratulations. Well done. I'm now pleased to announce the recipient of the President's Award of Excellence. This award is made possible through donations from our staff, faculty, and management. It is presented to a first or second year student who has taken a full course load, a minimum of 10 courses per academic year, and has achieved the highest cumulative GPA. The award recipient must either intend on continuing at the College of the Rockies in one of our four-year degree programs, or be transferring to another post-secondary institution to complete a four-year degree. The President's Award of Excellence recipient also receives a $2,500 award from the College of the Rockies. I am pleased to announce the recipient of the President's Award of Excellence, Caleb Tam. Caleb is graduating from the Engineering Certificate Program with a grade point average of 9.91. Having spent most of his life living in Wardner, he chose the College of the Rockies because of its proximity and the small class sizes. Caleb is grateful for the time he was able to spend at the college and as it provided him with a solid engineering foundation that he will be able to build upon as he furthers his studies. Next year, Caleb will be taking a gap year to volunteer as a boys dean at Fountain View Academy, a private boarding school near Lillooet, before resuming his studies in the fall of 2022. Congratulations, Caleb. Well done. And congratulations to all deserving 2021 award winners. Thank you for the work you put in and thank you for choosing the College of the Rockies. We would also like to recognize the many award recipients who are listed at the back of the program. Before we begin the formal portion of our program, the presentation of degrees, diplomas and certificates, the Dean of your program would like to say a few words. As Dean, I celebrate and honour all the graduates who are receiving certificates and diplomas from the Health and Human Service programs. I also want to recognize graduates of the Bachelor of Nursing and Bachelor of Education partnership programs who will be receiving their degrees from the University of Victoria after four years of learning at the Cranbrook campus. Graduates, you have persevered and achieved your goals despite a COVID year. I wish you future success as you enter your chosen careers. Congratulations, Class of 2021. Jennifer Belisle, Aboriginal Education Support Worker Diploma. April Strauss, Aboriginal Education Support Worker Diploma. Amanda Kennedy, Certified Dental Assistant Certificate. Madison Haug, Certified Dental Assistant Certificate. Janessa Ives, Certified Dental Assistant Certificate. Haley Larson, Certified Dental Assistant Certificate. Katrina Peppel. Certified Dental Assistant Certificate. Leah's Roback. Certified Dental Assistant Certificate. Karamjit Her. Child, Youth and Family Studies Diploma. Kimberly Legg. Child, Youth and Family Studies Diploma. Amy Smith. Child, Youth and Family Studies Diploma. Human Service Worker Diploma. Minico Spring. Child, Youth and Family Studies Diploma. Human Service Worker Diploma. Venetia Sylvester. Child, Youth and Family Studies Diploma. Daniela Kurt. 
Early Childhood Education Special Needs Diploma. Infant Toddler Educator Diploma. I'm so grateful to have learned so much during this program and I want to thank my family and also College of the Rockies for being amazing. Rhiannon LeClaire. Early Childhood Education Special Needs Diploma. Melissa Boardman. Early Childhood Education. Infant Toddler Educator Diploma. Yay, class of 2021. I just want to say congratulations to everyone. It's been quite the journey getting here, and I wish you all the best. Tanzim Siddiqui. Early Childhood Education. Infant Toddler Educator Diploma. Tiffany Traverse. EC Infant Toddler Educator Diploma. Taylor Botterill. Early Childhood Education Certificate. Ashley Brown. Early Childhood Education Certificate. Yay, I made it! Graduation 2021. It's been a long two years, but I'm excited to be done. And I couldn't have done it without the help of my family. Leslie Daphna Cuevas Wyas. Early Childhood Education Certificate. Gracias, familia, por hacer mi sueño realidad. Vivan los ECE! Yeah! Chanel Dagonet. Early Childhood Education Certificate. Stephanie Ferelli. Early Childhood Education Certificate. Danica Franco. Early Childhood Education Certificate. A huge shout out to my family and friends that has been there throughout the years and to my fiance that has been supporting me through tough times. Thank you. Haley Graham. Early Childhood Education Certificate. Rebecca Nesbitt. Early Childhood Education Certificate. Rochelle C. Gwen. Early Childhood Education Certificate. Cheyenne Turan. Early Childhood Education Certificate. Tiana Weldon. Early Childhood Education Certificate. Iman Abu Mwamer. Education Assistant Certificate. Aaron Anderson. Education Assistant Certificate. Michelle Arsenault. Education Assistant Certificate. Rowena Beattie. Education Assistant Certificate. Goldie Brennan. Education Assistant Certificate. Lisa Coniglia Edwards. Education Assistant Certificate. Hi, my name is Lisa and I just graduated from the EA program. Congratulations everyone! Yay, we did it! And thank you so much to all the instructors for your hard work and dedication. Kayla Coleman. Education Assistant Certificate. Jody Coyne. Education Assistant Certificate. Jocelyn Desroches. Education Assistant Certificate. Instructors, thank you for the valuable role you've played in my life these past 10 months and the months coming up. I'm not done with you yet. To my family, thank you for being forgiving about all the loose sleep on the kitchen table. Tracy Eldershaw. Education Assistant Certificate. Tracy Haslam. Education Assistant Certificate. Hi, fellow grads. Congratulations. We did it. Richard McBurney. Education Assistant Certificate. Donnell Olufsen. Education Assistant Certificate. Jennifer Perry Poli. Education Assistant Certificate. 
I'm super excited to be graduating this year. I want to give a big, big thank you to my family and to the college for letting this all happen. It's been a journey. Thanks. Sarah May Perry, Education Assistant Certificate. Hi everyone, I just wanted to say a big thank you to all my teachers and all their amazing support and congratulations to everybody, we did it! Amy Phelps, Education Assistant Certificate Madeline Pryor, Education Assistant Certificate Marissa Stark, Education Assistant Certificate Michelle Sutton, Education Assistant Certificate. Monica Vitali Tan, Education Assistant Certificate. Thank you, College of the Rockies. Thank you, Kate, Heather, Barb, and Lynn. Thanks for all your help and support, and many thanks to my family for being so patient. Thank you. Yvonne Von Zarnowski, Education Assistant Certificate. Vilma Aguinaldo, Healthcare Assistant Certificate. Bobby Joe Basarab, Healthcare Assistant Certificate. Shelby Brown, Healthcare Assistant Certificate. Keisha Davison, Healthcare Assistant Certificate. Roxanne De Los Santos. Healthcare Assistant Certificate. Hello everyone to all the graduates of uh, year 2020 and 2021. Congratulations everyone. Cheers and good luck. Paula Teresa De Passion. Healthcare Assistant Certificate. I would like to say thank you to all my instructors, to all my classmates. Uh, Thank you so much for supporting us all the way. Joanne Featherling, Healthcare Assistant Certificate. Rachel Godet, Healthcare Assistant Certificate. Courtney Graham Sutherland. Healthcare Assistant Certificate. Sarah Grasdow. Healthcare Assistant Certificate. Rihanna Hyatt. Healthcare Assistant Certificate. Marissa Jensen. Healthcare Assistant Certificate. Asia Mullen. Healthcare Assistant Certificate. Bonnie Ross, Healthcare Assistant Certificate. Emily May Shergelo, Healthcare Assistant Certificate. Emma Sotart, Healthcare Assistant Certificate. Hugh Tennant, Healthcare Assistant Certificate. Marlies Tessman. Healthcare Assistant Certificate. Jamie Taylor Moses. Healthcare Assistant Certificate. Jasmine Tozen. Healthcare Assistant Certificate. Carrie Ann Zufa. Healthcare Assistant Certificate. Kanisha Bent. Human Service Worker Diploma. Hi everyone, my name is Kenesha, a student of the Human Service Worker Diploma Program, and I would just like to say congratulations to Class 2021. Risa Clark Attrell, Human Service Worker Diploma. Marion Dawson, Human Service Worker Diploma. Paige Donaher, Human Service Worker Diploma. Christine Drinnen, Human Service Worker Diploma. 
Grant Jane from Haynes Junction, Yukon. Special thanks to all the teachers at the HSWR program, my classmates, and my family. Jamie Fitzpatrick, Human Service Worker Diploma. Chittera Delaca, Human Service Worker Diploma. Kayla Bolink, Human Service Worker Certificate. Bailey Krause, Human Service Worker Certificate. Gabrielle Hussey, Human Service Worker Certificate. James Kaufman, Human Service Worker Certificate. Tammy Middlestadt, Human Service Worker Certificate. Michaela Golly, Kinesiology Diploma. Pragith Kuloff Valapil, Kinesiology Diploma. Sukmanpreet Kaur, Kinesiology Diploma. Sheldon Thomas, Kinesiology Diploma. Kevin Tsai, Kinesiology Diploma. Daniel Valencia Vera Tudela. Kinesiology Diploma. I want to say thanks to my mom, my dad, and my sisters for all the support throughout this journey. And a big shout out to Jody, Jenny, and Sandy. You guys are the best. Angel Angel Josna. Kinesiology Certificate. Prema Chandra Shakaran Nair. Kinesiology Certificate. Francesca Denise Aguinaldo. Practical Nursing Diploma. Era Patricia Araneda, Practical Nursing Diploma. Carly Bays, Practical Nursing Diploma. Alicia Bernicott, Practical Nursing Diploma. Coming to the College of the Rockies, I was really nervous, but with such a supportive class, it made all the difference. Congratulations, graduates. Cassidy Born, Practical Nursing Diploma. Anail Delisle, Practical Nursing Diploma. Hunter Burton, Practical Nursing Diploma. Macy Karen. Practical Nursing Diploma. Madison Davio. Practical Nursing Diploma. Annabelle Demate. Practical Nursing Diploma. Taylor Dennis. Practical Nursing Diploma. Robin Eichinger. Practical Nursing Diploma. Ashley Ettinger. Practical Nursing Diploma. Hannah Gallant. Practical Nursing Diploma. Amanda Kerr. Practical Nursing Diploma. Kirsten Kleisdorf. Practical Nursing Diploma. Jordan Levine. Practical Nursing Diploma. Jenna Levine. Practical Nursing Diploma. Kaylin Milligan. Practical Nursing Diploma. Emma Murfit, Practical Nursing Diploma. Jessica Portsmouth, Practical Nursing Diploma. Stephanie Stevie Power, Practical Nursing Diploma.
Samantha Rask. Practical Nursing Diploma. Cheryl Shukin. Practical Nursing Diploma. Brittany Smith. Practical Nursing Diploma. Danae Stroud. Practical Nursing Diploma. Francis Voss. Practical Nursing Diploma. Shane Wilson. Practical Nursing Diploma. Congratulations to our 2021 graduates. And thank you for joining us today to celebrate our students' achievements. I'd like to extend a special thank you to our college employees for their hard work and in organizing today's ceremony. Thank you as well to our faculty who I know are watching from home and cheering loudly for you all. College of the Rockies is fortunate to have one of the finest groups of instructors in the country. I hope they challenged you to think differently, encouraged you to express your opinions, helped build your self-confidence, and helped expand your worldview. Graduates, I know that you join me in thanking our instructors for the role they have played in shaping your future. As we celebrate your success, we cannot forget that although this day belongs to you, it is shared with those who supported and guided you along the way, your family and friends. So on behalf of all of our grads, thank you to family and friends for joining us to celebrate their accomplishments. Without your encouragement, support, personal sacrifices, mentoring, and in many cases, financial sacrifice, this day would not have been possible for our many grads. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for joining us to celebrate and congratulate College of the Rockies class of 2021.